Hey YouTube, it's me at your iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 free tweaks for the week. These are updated and new tweaks all together in one. First one we're looking at here is called Convo Pick. And Convo Pick adds the 6 plus feature where it adds the uh, photograph in the messages section here. You see the little circle icons down through there of the, all the photos. If each of the contact had a photo, it would be displayed there. That comes native on the iPhone 6. That's called Convo Picks. The next one is called Status HUD 2. This is one of my favorites. If you notice up in the status bar right now, see the little round circles. You can actually change those to squares by going under the settings menu. That's called Status HUD 2. That's your volume whenever you turn it up and down. Next one's called Pull to Respring. This is another one of my favorites. And when you go into the settings menu here, if you were to pull down all the way at the top right here, pull down and release, it would actually respring the device, which we're not going to do that, but I was just showing it to you. The next one is Lock Glyph. This adds the Apple Pay animation to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus here. You see the little fingerprint when I lay my finger thumb on the... Uh, fingerprint readers it actually picks it up and adds that little animation you can actually change the speed of that animation you can turn the sound off it does have some configuration under the settings if you want to do that next up date in status bar if you look in my status bar up there you see November 14th beside the time and that's one thing I have learned that I have been become dependent on real quick so this has become one of my favorite tweaks, date and status bar. Next one is double check. How many of us have sent the wrong message to the wrong person a hundred times? I know I have. It can be very embarrassing too, depending on what you're saying. So you see right there in the little blank box, if we were to go in there and before we start typing anything, you see it says text message to Mitch it will actually put the person's name in there so it gives you that last time to make sure that you are sending it to the appropriate person that's called double check the next one is reach all this is an iPhone 6 and 6 plus tweak and if you double tap the home button or the thumb fingerprint finder, finder whatever you want to call it you get the little drop down there that allows you to reach everything much easier. It does have a few configurations under the settings here. If you go into reach, I'm sorry, I told you wrong. It's not reach all. It's called my reachability. There is one called reach all. It's free too, but this is called my reachability. And as you can see here, you can turn off the buttons. You can turn off accelerometer and it just adds a little bit more to it by having those features turned on. It's called My Reachability. Next one is Roomy. Roomy adds more room in the notification area. So if we pull our notifications down here, and hopefully there you go, you see there's a lot more room between each one of those. And I'm not going to scroll down too far. There might be some personal information on there. But you see between the apps gone and the app store, each line in between each one of those notifications is much larger. A lot more room, a lot bigger print, everything's better. It's called Roomy. Next one's Hide Me A Light. This allows you to go into your control center and hide anything and everything you could ever imagine you want to. There is a paid version of this, but the Hide Me Light version is just as good. If you wanted to turn this on, and go into configurations here. You can do control center. You can hide anything you see there. You just flip that switch on and it'll hide it. So if we flip it up right quick, you see we got the quick launch down there at the bottom. If I turn that on, now if we were to respring, that would go away. And it won't take just a second for it to respring so I can show you exactly how that works. That's called uh, Hide Me 8 Light. And like I said, there is a pro version, but this is the light version. So let's go back in here and check and see what we got. So now when we pull up, you see our quick launch is gone. And we flip that on. That's what, what reason it's hidden now. Next up is called 
I found light. There's a pro version, but the light version is just as good. You see the little I found icon down there on the bottom left side. If I tap that, I'm going to get some information on my screen that's going to tell me who to give this phone back to. So if you see Mitch, you need to tell him that you got his phone. You can call that number on the screen there and tell him, okay? So go ahead and get his phone back to him. Last up, you're going to have to add a repo to get this, and I'll put it in the description and on the screen here too. It's called Better 5 Column Home Screen. If you're wondering how I got all that room on my home screen, that's the tweak that did it. It's actually adding another row of icons by reducing the size and the amount of space between each one. I think it's awesome. Looks good. Check those 10 out. I know you'll love them. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us a lot. Leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. We I'd always like to talk to my viewers. And as always, guys, if you aren't a subscriber, please hit that big subscribe button on your way out and keep coming back.